what I've been doing for the last 10 years is to deal with satellite imagery data sets and then create some high level products out of it for earth science monitoring. And we have been monitoring the planet for the last three decades now with a barrage of sensors. In the recent years, um, we're more into applying AI tools to analyze these data sets to get more insights out of the data. Because the data is growing day by day and with all these satellites, uh, they're always like uh, transmitting data in the order of terabytes. We had this uh, GPU cluster for a long time and people had not been realizing the importance of the GPU cluster uh, until recently when you know, we have been analyzing these large images where we need uh, big GPUs to, to do image classification and segmentation. And in fact, uh, for the last five years, we have uh, developed a framework called the NASA Earth Exchange and that's been deployed in the NASA supercomputing facility at NASA Ames. We recently got the DGX-1 system, which is extremely, extremely useful for us because we have these extremely complex models, convolutional neural network models. When we want to stack up several of those models, we need a big GPU machine, right? And the images are getting bigger and bigger. And we are not talking about camera images, we're talking about satellite images, which are really big. It can be in the order of one gigabyte per image, right? So we need this high memory, GPU systems too. Uh, in terms of climate modeling, again, we are leveraging a lot of GPUs nowadays. It has not been done before, but with all the climate model runs, as you know, for the next 50 years and 100 years, it takes a lot of time. It's computationally expensive. So when you bring this GPU framework, it becomes much easier to do these computations. For all the satellite missions, the new satellite missions, the importance is for monitoring the Earth, essentially, at the highest possible resolution for deriving insights at both land, water, and ocean atmosphere. So, and I think bringing together the industry people, domain experts, and then all the physical scientists together at one place, and using the state-of-the-art technology that GPUs, which NVIDIA provides, is going to be really helpful in the next decade. So.